Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where today I want to give you this message and that is in 2020 hope is not a strategy. Now I had a friend, well actually she was a girlfriend who was also a work colleague and she once said something that really resonated with me, really stuck with me. Now one day a mutual work colleague passed on her phone number and said you know she would quite like to hear from you. Now I didn't follow it up straight away I was a sort of traditional kind of guy and and I thought well you know it's not as though we're not going to see each other again and actually the anticipation was quite exciting. And then about a month later these same work colleagues organised a night out and and guess who was sat opposite me. And well, this led on to a first date. And during that first date, I happened to say to her, you know, this was quite unusual for a girl to pass their, their phone number on. I mean, it may not be as unusual nowadays, I don't know. But she said something that struck me. She said, well, if you want something in life, you have to go out and get it. And that's when I fell for her. And that was the start of a... Quite a beautiful relationship. Now you may be saying well what's this got to do with hope? Well there's two things. There's the obvious thing is that she didn't rely on hope. She went out and tried to get what she wanted. But the other message is the power of words and the power of words can have over you. They can make you sad, they can make you angry, they can make you happy, they can even make you fall in love. But nowadays I notice words being used to such great effect and not in a good way. Now I never consume things like mainstream media. I don't watch mainstream TV, listen to the radio or read the newspaper. I tend to get my news from alternative sources, things like YouTube, blogs, podcasts, people whose opinions I respect. And yes, they're probably saying or giving me messages that confirm my own biases, but, you know, I know all about that. But I do pick up snippets here and there. You may see the odd headline, you may see words being used, things being said. And I've noticed certain words, certain phrases being used all the time. Difficult times, unprecedented times, trying times, troubled times, turbulent times. Even adverts from places like banks, insurance companies and supermarkets are now using these in their, their slogans. Oh, and don't forget the keep safe, and stay safe, just to reinforce the fact that we're not safe. Our lives are in danger. We're living in times, proceed with caution and fear. And that's what it comes down to, fear. People everywhere are in this constant state of fear. And when people are in a constant state of fear, they're easily controlled. And as a result, what are people doing? Well, they're locking themselves away indoors. They're hiding under the bed, not seeing friends, not seeing relatives, hoping it will all go away. But it won't go away. And if you've been doing this, if you've been feeling like this in this constant state of fear, you know what? It's not your fault. And that's the power of words. And so you have two options. One, you can remain in this state of fear or you can adapt to the current situations. You can put yourself at the, the mercy of a government, an employer, a business and just hope. Hope it will all go away. Hope the situation will change. Hope it will be all right. But you know what? Hope is not a good strategy. And you know what? Hope is not a good strategy for, for anything in life. Because if you're relying on hope, you're not in control. You're not in control of your own life. And if you're not in control of your life, then ask yourself, who is? Because I can guarantee, if you're not in control, someone else will come along and control it for you. And that is a very precarious place to be. Now you may say, well, that's fine. But how does this help me? How does this help me survive? How does this help me maybe earn some extra money? Well, for a start, you can stop hoping and start doing. Now they say that there are three main desires in life. 
And if you want to run a successful business or make money, then you should target one of these desires. And they are health, wealth and love. But if you take a look at what's happening at the moment, these three things are being targeted, they're being jeopardised. Don't go out of doors. Don't go to work. Don't meet up with other people. And as a, as a result, people are getting unhappy. They're becoming anxious. They're depressed. They're getting resentful. But you know what? There are people that are happy. There are people that are thriving. And there are people that will say, things have never been as good now as they've ever been. They'll say that their businesses are booming at the moment. But if you ask them, are these trying times? They'll probably just... Uh, smile and, and, and walk away slowly because you're not allowed to say that at the moment are you you can't say things are good that's almost sort of blasphemy at the moment you'll get these people I like to call them covid idiots they'll come out of the woodwork and you'll get accused of being insensitive a virus denier even putting other people's lives in danger you've got to you've got to look morose you've got to wring your hands you've got to say how how these uncertain times are, are troubling you. Now, do you know what many of these successful businesses have in common? They've got an online presence. Probably selling online. They've got their own website, a Shopify store, selling on Amazon or, or eBay. And business is booming. Look at media companies, Netflix, absolutely dominating at the moment. And I sell digital products online. And I must say, business has never been as good. In fact, over the last two months, I've noticed my sales and profits increased by 50%. People are changing the way they, they shop. Because of the fear, they're not going out of doors. And there's so many restrictions now if you try and go out of doors and, and shop that people are not wanting to go outside anymore and do those sorts of things. I mean, look, you've been told to stand in this line, don't cross over that line, stand in this circle, stand in line there. I mean, it's, it's really not a happy or nice place to be. And so people's consumer habits are changing and no doubt changing permanently. People that had never previously shopped online, and I'm sure there's millions and millions that had never shopped online before. They've now been given no choice and, and now they've dipped the toe in the water. They're trusting the system. It's, you know, it's quick, it's safe. They're probably never going to go back. So these increase in sales, these increases in business profits are probably going to be a permanent thing. A friend once told me, where there's instability, there's opportunity. Now you may be asking, well, where are the opportunities at the moment? Well, I've just mentioned one of them online, a business online. But there's an even greater opportunity because you've been given one of the, the greatest gifts that you could ever possibly be given. And that is time. You've got time to spend with family and friends. You've got time to get fitter than ever. You've got time to start a business or a side business. Time to create extra income. You've been given the ultimate gift, the, the ultimate resource if you like. I mean we've all got the, the same 24 hours. We all live a certain amount of time on this, on this rock that's plummeting through space at incredible speeds. And we've all been given this, this most valuable asset, this most valuable gift of time. But you know what? Most people are wasting it obsessing over facts and figures, our own numbers, halving times, death rates, hospital beds, worrying themselves into this constant state of fear, anxiety, suspiciousness, depression and anger. Consumed, if you like, with this, it's almost a dark negative energy. And I said, if you just go out to a supermarket today, you can feel it. People with these masks on looking at you you with suspicion and again you're being told where to stand big plastic screens up stand here don't stand there go into this line stand in that circle don't stand in that circle it's incredible it really is unpleasant 
So you've got to look at this gift that's been given to you and stop relying on hope. Because, as I say, hope is not a good strategy. The world's changing before your very eyes. You've been given this gift. It's an opportunity. And if you're, you're wanting to create a business, if you're wanting to create some extra money, I mean, you know, to a lot of people, create, earning a, or creating an extra $50, $100 a month can be the difference between starving and surviving. And there are so many resources now if you want to learn how to make money online. You know, you've got things like YouTube, Udemy, Skillshare, and you've got the time to take advantage of these resources. You've got to invest in yourself. You've got to build skills. You've got to start doing and stop hoping. I know a lot of online gurus will will make it sound like it's a lot more complicated than it is. You know, you need this platform, you need this software, you need this funnel, but it really isn't. You know, in this last month I made I made $200 from selling lists of simple keywords. They're easy to create, anyone can do them. Didn't need anything special. Just a spreadsheet software that's free on most computers. It really is easy. But you've got to stop hoping, you've got to start doing. And more importantly, you've got to commit. Because without commitment, you, you just won't continue, you just won't, you just won't succeed, you'll give up. The doing and the commitment are the two most important things if you're wanting to create a business online. So let me ask you this, in the future, when your grandchildren ask you what you did in 2020, what are you gonna say? Are you gonna say you stayed indoors, you watched Netflix, you hoped it would all go away or are you going to say instead I stopped hoping and started doing I went out there to get what I wanted to get I created a business I got fitter than ever or even I met your grandmother so now is the time stop hoping Start doing. You've been given this precious gift. Hope is not a strategy. And you know what? Your future self will thank you for it.